Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video. Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Days of our lives spoilers recap for Wednesday, April 12. Reveals that Eric Brady, Greg Vaughn, arrived at Sloan Peterson's, Jessica Surfy, apartment to find the place looking totally trashed. Eric was concerned about Sloan, but Jada Hunter, Elia Cantu, appeared and admitted she was searching while Sloan was out. After Jada told Eric about the latest text message development and mentioned that she had a warrant, Eric said Sloan probably took her phone. Jada didn't think it hurt to look around anyway, but she ultimately didn't find any evidence. There was some awkwardness between these exes, but Jada and Eric wanted each other to be happy. Once Jada said Sloan needed to come down to the police station with her phone or phones later, she took off. At the Salem Inn, Sloan showed up at Leo Stark's, Greg Reichart, door to berate him for publishing a column about her. It involved Sloan being a total psycho who was going after Paulina Price, Jackie Harry, and Chanel Dupree, Raven Bowens, for revenge. Once Sloan demanded a retraction and threatened to sue for libel, Liam insisted he had a reliable source and felt the accusations must be true. Sloan assumed Polina leaked the info to Leo, who pointed out that Sloan had already been convicted in the eyes of the public. Leo suggested Sloan should tell him her sob story and get the public back on her side, but she threw his phone when he tried to record her and barked more threats as she left. At Polina's place, Channel admitted to giving Leo the information for the Sloan story which Paulina read online. Paulina also came clean about the threatening text, her second panic attack, and the fact that Sloane mocked her before leaving her in distress. Chanel was furious, but Paulina was adamant that Sloane would get what was coming to her one way or another. At the Salem PD, Talia Hunter, a civilian, stopped by looking for Jada, but Rafe Hernandez, Galen Juring, confirmed she was out working a case. After Talia asked how Rafe and Jada enjoyed their recent dinner together, Abe Carver, James Reynolds, overheard and reminded Rafe of the rules. Rafe assured Abe that the dinner was platonic and that he'd simply joined Jada at a table with Talia during an accidental encounter. Abe seemed apologetic for overreacting and officially met Talia, so he was grateful to her for helping Polina following her panic attack. After Abe headed out, Talia let Rafe know she was sorry for getting him in trouble. Rafe insisted it was fine, but he wanted Talia to stop playing matchmaker since his romance with Jada wasn't allowed. Even so, Talia felt confident that Rafe would ask Jada out if it weren't for all the regulations. As Talia sashayed away, she talked about Rafe being just Jada's type. Next on Wednesday's Day's episode... Rafe gave Jada updates on Talia's latest attempt to push them together. Once Rafe admitted he'd asked Jada on a date if it weren't for the rule against it, Jada confessed that she'd accept if that were the case too. Nevertheless, Rafe and Jada agreed that nothing could happen between them as they said goodnight. In the town square, Sloane crossed paths with Channel, who admitted she was behind the story that was leaked to Leo. Channel ripped into Sloan for walking away from Paulina in the middle of her medical crisis and brought up the text message, which confused Sloan. After Sloan denied sending the text, just like she denied the break-in and note, she acted like Paulina was an old, obnoxious bitch with many enemies. Channel slapped Sloan for that, so Sloan said she'd kill her and lunged at Channel as a chase began. Once Channel grabbed a bouquet off the flower cart, and began whacking Sloane with it. Talia broke up the fight. Talia noticed Channel's arm was bleeding, so she took her into the Sweet Bits kitchen and bandaged her up using the first aid kit. Channel thanked Talia for showing up when she needed her and felt she was on a path forward again thanks to all Talia's help. Talia touched Channel's arm tenderly as they locked eyes in an intense moment, but it was derailed by Polima's message over the phone. Chanel ultimately asked Talia to join them for dinner, so Talia happily accepted the offer. As for Abe, he expressed concern to Polina and wanted them to enjoy an extended vacation in Paris 
until Sloan was behind bars. Paulina refused to leave Channel and knew her daughter wouldn't leave the bakery for that long if she came with them. Once Sloan was locked up, Paulina said they could visit Paris then. Back at Sloan's place on Wednesday's DOL show, she found Eric cleaning up following Jada's search. Eric explained what happened and said Sloan needed to visit the Salem PD due to the text situation. Sloan denied any involvement, but she could tell Eric was skeptical and offered to hand over her phone. Eric insisted that wasn't necessary, but he seemed tempted to peek at that phone while Sloan was in the shower. At Sweet Bits again, someone wearing gloves snuck in after dark and doused some biscuit dough with a vial full of something. At the pub on Wednesday's Days episode, Gwen Rischek, Emily O'Brien, insisted she didn't like being lied to. It was obvious to Gwen that Sander Cook, Paul Telfer, wasn't really hung up on Sarah Horton, Lindsay Godfrey, and had moved on with Chloe Lane, Nadia Dorlin. Sander tried to assure Gwen that nothing was going on with Chloe, but Gwen kept at it. That led to Xander lying that Gwen was right before planting a big kiss on Chloe. After Gwen called Xander a pig and stomped off, Chloe said Gwen was right about that and slapped him for assaulting her. Xander apologized for his blunder and really hoped he could be friends with Chloe, so she was on board with that. Back with Gwen on Wednesday's Days episode, she exchanged news with Leo, who felt that Xander was jealous over Alex Kyriakis, Robert Scott Wilson, and retaliating. However, Gwen also considered the possibility that Leo's plan had backfired and that Xander now had real feelings for Chloe. Days of our lives spoilers say Gwen's love life will come with some twists and turns, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe our Days of Our Lives Gossip YouTube channel for more update news.